Live from the ESPN 1280 studios in San Luis Obispo, it is time. It is Living the Run. We're not just chewing the fat, we're getting rid of it. We are your home for everything health and fitness. Living the Run is being brought to you by Running Warehouse, CrossFit, Grover Beach, Artie's Pilates, and in partnership with the American Cancer Society and the Heal Slow Coalition. Here are your hosts for Living the Run, Ryan Ferran and Paul Tarek. And we are off and running another edition of Living the Run Health and Fitness Radio. I am Ryan Ferran along with the Olympian Paul Anthony Tarek. We hope you are living the run, feeling well, making those sacrifices for a healthier, more beautiful, lean and mean lifestyle. Because... We are doing that, right, Paul? Um, I, I'm on the border. I'm on the fence. Good evening to you. How are you doing, sir? Not too bad. Did you see your biggest loser last night? No, I did not watch it. Oh, come on. I'm, How, I'm I, assuming you did? There was, there was crying, and there was chubby people, and, and then more crying and more chubby people. It was, it was actually like a repeat of every other week. Yeah, that's what we were talking about a couple weeks ago when you weren't here. I tried to watch it a few weeks ago and realized it's new people, the same exact thing every week. Yeah. They're still, you know, I don't know if they need to jump the shark and go gimmick or do something more they interesting. They got Anna Kornikova. Yeah, right. I guess that's, that is jumping the shark. That is jumping the shark. And the one, when I watched, I gave it about five minutes. She wasn't on, so I turned the channel. Yeah. So, But I did watch. I gave it another shot the week after, and uh, the speed skater was on. Paulo Ono. Yeah, and I actually enjoyed him. He was out running with them. They were doing a... Uh, I think it was a 5K, and he was pretty cool to listen to and kind of hear him talk. So that was kind of cool, so I gave it another shot. But, yeah, basically it's the same thing. Uh, you know, all the sponsorships in between, people losing weight, crying, and then the dramatic weigh-in. They step on the scale, long pause, cue up the music. Well, go they back. weigh. We'll be right back after this. Yeah, go back to the sponsorship thing, though. I hate that. It's, it's like they take for granted the fact that people have a, you know... They just take people for idiots, I think. And it's like they, they incorporate a commercial right into the show. I mean, it's not even, they don't even try to hide it. Like before, they used to put like a Pepsi can on the counter or they'd do something in the background or you'd see them drive a certain type of car, you know. But it wasn't like the focus of the show. And now it's like that is the focus of the show. You know, they'll be doing a workout and, and the, the contestants will be working, you know, working real hard and sweating. And in, in the middle of the workout, it's, well, you know, you can get all the recovery you need from this V8 <laughs> juice. And it's like, Come on. All of a sudden, they're at Subway eating their fantastic meal. And I get the whole marketing aspect of it because, you know, you have to have sponsors. And now they're looking for more creative ways to satisfy those sponsors because everyone's fighting for those sponsorship dollars. You know, if we didn't have sponsors, we wouldn't be here. We're uh, hanging on to a very thin ice. If you're interested in sponsorship, radio at livingtherun.com. I thought you were just going to slide that in there. We never do that. Like our friends but if over we, If we mentioned, when we used to mention Running Warehouse a lot, you know, I would say they're a sponsor of the show. So it's kind of like full disclosure. I mean, it's it's almost painfully obvious that Subway and that yogurt, whatever yeah. it is, is, is a sponsor. And it's like, really, you're going to sit there for five minutes and go... Oh, look at all the great offerings they have at Subway. I mean, it's a little... Yeah, well, we, 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 don't, we don't get anything from the Downtown Association, but yet we'll tell you about the farmer's market right. every, you know, every Thursday night. You know, they also have one at Kennedy, and it's... Kennedy, we just, also we just, not a sponsor. We, but, but a great place to go. But, but the point is, you know, we just, we just want to get the word out about where you can go find these things that we're talking about. Coming up on the show, we are talking about Iron Man Arizona. With the one, the only, Samantha Pruitt. She will join us next segment. Congratulations to her. She went from couch potato, about 50 pounds overweight. Is that right, Samantha? Yeah, 57 pounds now I have officially lost. 57 pounds. Bam! To, a few years later, Ironman triathlon bad Bad person. <laughs> <laughs> Iron woman. Yeah, there we go. Oh, two hello, point, hello. Two point four mile swim. Follow that up with a hundred and twelve mile bike. Then we cap that off with a little stroll we like to call the marathon. A marathon. Twenty six point two miles. Absolutely impressive. Congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. Thank we'll you, boys. To, we'll get to uh, much more with Samantha. How she did it. How you can start doing it. Uh, coming up next segment. You can read her blog all about it. Videos, pictures, everything included, just posted about an hour ago. 
livingtherun.com. It's absolutely fantastic. There's a video of her, the official Iron Man Arizona video as well. She got in. Of course, she's the loudest one in the video as well. Uh, so that's you watch that, and you it's like a quick 10-minute video recap of the race, talks to people who are in it. Super inspiring to see some of these people who have overcome cancer, being overweight, this, that, and now... I mean, we throw out Ironman, and it's just... That's why I like to say what it is. Two and a half mile swim, 112 mile bike, followed by a marathon. That is just incomprehensible. Uh, Makes so for a long day. It, it does. <laughs> Our text trivia, speaking of, tonight, 805-242-1280. What was Samantha's finishing time in Ironman, Arizona? 805-242-1280. If you win, you will win... An Artie's Pilates Power Pack to Artie's Pilates in Pismo Beach, one of our fine, fantastic sponsors. Are we with Bob Barker rules close without going? Or are we just gonna are we gonna set the bullseye and let him hit anywhere? We're gonna go well, Paul Tarek, Bob let's, Barker rules. Let's rule. ask her. Let's ask her. What does she want? What, what do you what want? What would you like? Closest. We usually go Bob Barker closest to without going over. Okay. Or we can go closest to period. I think it should be closest to, and I expect all the Central Coast Triathlon Club athletes to, to know this. pony up and know this. You get a free Artie's Pilates Power Pack, artiespilates.com. It's worth 200 bucks. You get a free session with Artie and I think four or five reformer classes as well. So it's a heck of a deal. And like Hell, I, said, I want that. If, if you know uh, Samantha, you should know the time. And if closest to without going over. And if you're I from know. the Central Coast Triathlon Club and you're not within three seconds, you're, you're, you're out, guess of is out. You can, you're you out of the club. You can be the closest, you're out. No chance. No. Your dues are still due, <laughs> but you're out of the freaking club. <laughs> Double the dues. Also, we want your thoughts on this. We are putting together the best of Slow County Health and Fitness Poll. We want to know. What should be included in that? We're going to limit to it, limit the poll to about 10 questions or so. We want to know, probably ask, what is the best gym in San Luis Obispo County? Best health food store? Best chiropractor? Best oh, massage the, therapist? I'm going to jump in right there, and I, I'm going to say what you're going to get is you're going to get a lot of good uh, suggestions, but you're going to have to be a little more specific because there are certain chiropractors that are very good for some things and certain chiropractors that are very good for other things. There are certain gyms that are very good for general staying in shape, good atmosphere, and there are certain gyms that are really good for getting in great shape and just focused on lifting. So you're going to have to qualify that. That's, that's why I'm seeking the public's help. How? What questions do you want to know? Do you wanna, would you rather know best gym or best value of a gym? We want to limit it to 10. We don't want to give people 80 questions. So what do you think should be on the best of San Luis Obispo County health and fitness poll via Living the Run? I'm going to submit mine as the best trail run. The best, best trail, trail run, 5K and under. It's got to be under 5K. Okay. Samantha, would you have any? What would you want on the best of? How about the best uh, athletic club? Maybe the Central Coast Triathlon Club would be in there. That's the, right. The Multi-sport slow distance club. club. I think she's biased, though. I think she's biased. I have a few opinions about those things. This is true. <laughs> I probably should stay out of this one. You're definitely biased, but wouldn't you like to see that on the uh, best of? For sure. And, you know, their trail run versus road run and bike riding. And, you know, so everybody's got their two cents based on what's important to them. Let's round it all up. Let's do it. Tie it with a bow. Let us know what you want on the Living the Run Best of San Luis Obispo County Health and Wellness Poll. Email us, radio at livingtherun.com. Radio at livingtherun.com. You can text us, 242-1280. Hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash livingtherun. We're on Twitter as well. And, of course, you can check out the YouTube channel. So let us know what questions you want. Then next week, we will give you the 10 questions we have the best of, and then who should be in those. We'll have a other category where you can vote and submit your own, but uh, we'll get who should be in there, and then we'll, we'll get it out, give it a few months, let people register, and uh, we will hear from the good folks in San Luis Obispo County about basically the recommendations for the best of. I see on Facebook a lot, just a friend of mine said, I need a chiropractor, where should I go to? Yeah. And mm -hmm. I, I gave her a recommendation, yeah. our buddy that you recommended, and I, that's I, how people get, I mean, you can put all the commercials out there, and those are great. But word of mouth, Referral. yeah. I mean, if I go to Samantha, hey, you're an Ironman athlete. Who's where do you go to body? get? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Where do you get fixed up at? And you tell me, Bob Smith. Guess where I'm going? I'm going Bob Smith. Bob Smith. Dr. I'm Troy Smith. That's right. There Close you go. Enough. 
Bob, you, you would you would have sent people to the wrong place. Now they're confused. You, you, you I have, told the rest. Stay on Bob. You, yeah. yeah. Your, search, your search for ambiguity. <laughs> that was, was way that too was close basically to my, my version of John Doe. <laughs> I didn't know there was a Troy Smith. I recommended I, Rex Stevens. I was, I was Rex Stevens and Scott Dubrow. That's there you go. I mean those were the two guys I used and I will I will stand by them. They're good chiropractors. Absolutely. So let us know. Radio at livingtherun.com. Let us know what questions you want in the best of San Luis Obispo Health and Wellness poll. And we will get them on there. Then next week we'll finalize the uh, top ten and who should be in those certain questions. Text trivia, 805-242-1280. What was Iron Woman's Samantha Pruitt's time for Iron Man Arizona? What was it? 805-242-1280. Artie's Pilates Power Pack on the line. Before we get to the break, last week we were talking about Paul Tarek. Oh, he is no. famous. He has a Wikipedia page, Samantha. Wow. Do you have a Wikipedia page? You're an Iron Man athlete. You don't have a Wikipedia page. No, I feel like a slacker now. Do I have a Wikipedia page? You better step it up. No, I don't. Paul Tarek has a Wikipedia page. Why do you go to this? Be- Look, I, I got your back. I'm your <laughs> agent. I just hyped you up. I'm your Don King. He's brilliant. Right? You should be saying, not, not why, you should be saying, thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it. Thank Here's you. what was there are lacking. Nine, there are not. There are probably nine hits on that page, and seven of them were because your internet was going in and out at true. the time. True. True. <laughs> it's not the point, though, buddy. That's true. That's that, good point. Good I'm, point. I'm here, I'm here you. for you, thank and you I have your, your back. Thank you for your support. So, thank Samantha, you. last week we read Paul's mm, it's a decent length bio on Wikipedia. It didn't mention that he was an Olympian. It, it did not. It mentioned his decathlon career, and at the bottom it listed his achievements and that he was at the Olympic Games. But in his personal bio, it doesn't say Olympian. I, I thought wow. my main man here, the Olympian, Paul Anthony Tarek, it needs to say Olympian. Absolutely. The guy worked his butt off, got to the Olympic level, represented the red, white, and blue for me, for you, for our entire country. Blood, sweat, and tears. And I wanted Olympian in his Wikipedia bio. Also, it did not say, more importantly, by the way, Living the Run. <laughs> he is the co-host of Living the Run. It did not say that in there. Oh, that's so more it. important than Olympian, I need a Living motive, Run in there. Your motives are revealed. <laughs> my third motive was to get my own name on a Wikipedia oh, page. Oh, no. There you go. What, I, cr- what crime did you commit? I am on a, the KSBY Wikipedia page, Ooh, which is nice. Scandalous. So I appreciate that. But, you know, I wanted a little, little you, something more. You want more. your own. You don't want to be Ryan Fran from KSBY. Exactly. You just want to be Ryan Fran. I want to be Ryan Fran, Paul Tarek's you, co-host. Do you know how Legendary. Do you know how you're in my phone? You are Ryan, Ryan the man. You are, I've known you so long. Ryan KSBY. That's nice. how you're in my phone. That's my last name. Yeah. That's awesome. People, Somebody looked at my phone before and said, who's Ryan Cusby? I, like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, you didn't. That's great. So here is your new and improved. Oh, no, I no. edited this last night, and so far... Just refresh the page. It has not been changed. And I know I couldn't go too over the top saying, you know, he co-hosts with Ryan Ferran, the best-looking guy in the Central Coast, blah, blah, blah. So I kept it simple, but I wanted to get our three things in there. Here how. This is how your Wikipedia page now reads. Paul Anthony Tarek. Thank you for using my middle name repeatedly. That Thank was you. that was already on there. I'm Repe- reading the Wikipedia page. I, I didn't edit that part. I went years not telling people what my middle name was, and apparently it's all karma. It comes back. Well, because yeah, when, it comes be back. when you're on the G4 network with doing these 80 million Japanese shows, they say your full name, so that's where I got it. Paul Anthony Tarek. That's where I got it. Okay, <laughs> Paul Anthony Tarek, born October 20th, 1942. What? That's weird. Okay, 1979, not 42. <laughs> <laughs> is an American decathlete is what it used to say. I added American Olympic decathlete. Nice. He nice. graduated from whatever high school yep. in Michigan. Just go ahead and bl- yada, yada, yada. His until personal until best point. in decathlon, yada, yada, achieved in 2004 in Sacramento. That's where it stopped. And I'm like, Sacramento, that was the United States Olympic trials, people. So I added at the United States Olympic trials. Much more powerful, much more distinguished. It's very descriptive now. Much I, I more feel, deserving. I feel as though I can see this unfolding. I can almost imagine it happening. Exactly. My next sentence I added was, Tarek won the bronze medal and was placed on the United States Olympic team. Nice. Olympic in there once again. It still mentions your weaknesses in, in the, <laughs> the catalog, which are wrong. wrong. But I didn't go there. Not my, not my one, two, three priority list. Second paragraph, all edited by me. In September of 2010, Tarek became the co-host of Living the Run, a health and fitness radio show that airs 
on ESPN 1280 on the central coast of California. I even wrote it like a Wikipedia editor would. Nice. Tarek and his co-host... Is this like your job interview for Wikipedia, too? I I don't think they pay. (laughs) Speaking of sponsorship and asking for donations, that's what they do. But I appreciate it. Tarek and his co-host... This is where I come in. Ryan Ferran. <laughs> should we get your picture? Drop your picture in there? I should. Yeah. Our health and fitness advocates who are entertaining their fans. Well, that's questionable. I know that. I was going to say, you're going to get some. You're gonna I'll, get, I'll, I'll, that. I'll get to the uh, <laughs> explanation <laughs> of that. No entertaining comment. their fans while interviewing guests and sharing health and fitness tips and news on the weekly radio show. Then there's an 80 freaking paragraph things about your game shows and all that stuff. Uh, then it talks about your retirement. So I added that second paragraph. I threw it entertaining just because it's not intentional. Usually I'm screwing up the audio board. Paul's saying something it's stupid. More like that I find it's more like the gong show. It's more Pretty like uh, it's like an outtake. For Our entire show is an outtake. It's more like Jerry Springer entertaining. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough you to go that far. You yeah. want, well, because you watch it, not because you're, you know. You can't it's, look it's away. It's kind of a train wreck. Yeah, like yeah. A, yeah, I was saying it's a train wreck. You can't look away. I don't want to So anyway. I can't. Paul Anthony Tarek, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank now, you. the only problem is nobody's going to read this Wikipedia page that you said. But we changed it. We edited it. You are an American Olympian decathlete who is the co-host of Living the Run. And Ryan feels better, most importantly. That's, that's, I think that's the, the, the primary motive. And my name is in there. Yes. Nice. So congratulations. All right, speaking of congrats, coming up after the break, we are talking to Samantha Pruitt, the Iron Woman, how she did it. Is she still sore? Would she recommend it? Is she going to do it again? Is she going to plan another one? And how did the journey begin? How do you go from couch potato to elite Ironman lean and mean triathlete? How how long ago was the Ironman? It was. Week and a half ago. Mm -hmm. The 20th. All right. I'm going to venture a guess. My prediction is she says, no, she's not doing another one. She did it. She proved to herself she can do it. And six, eight months from now, we're going to have her back on the show. And she's going to say, I'm doing another one. That's my prediction. We'll find out after the break. Very good. You're listening to Living the Run on ESPN Radio 1280 The Ticket. Do you want to take a gym class but don't have the time? Or maybe you just don't want that smelly guy dressed in his 80s gear hovering over you in yoga class? Again, WeStreamFitness.com has more than 200 real live gym classes that we shot and recorded, and they're available to you whenever and wherever you can log on. Choose from Pilates, yoga, Zumba, kickboxing, aerobics, or our always popular tab class, thighs, abs, and booty. Plus, WeStreamFitness.com offers live chats with trainers and other wellness experts. Full access is all yours for just $15 a month. So whether you're tired of that same old boring workout DVD or you're tired of smelly yoga guy, Check out WeStreamFitness.com. We stream to keep you lean. If you're on the bench, get on the phone to a sports medicine specialist at Sierra Vista Regional Medical Center. Call us if it's torn, broken, strained, sprained, aggravated, aching, pulled, bruised, swollen, dislocated, or hyperextended. Sierra Vista Sports Medicine Specialists. For a free physician referral, call 800-483-6387. That's 800-483-6387. Sierra Vista Regional Medical Center. Top rate from top to bottom. Running Warehouse is the fastest growing running store in the nation for all major brands of running products, including Asics, Brooks, Nike, Saucony, Mizuno, New Balance, and Adidas. Running Warehouse is focused on providing runners the best shopping experience available online, on the phone, or in our store. Running Warehouse offers top-notch customer service, an outstanding selection, an easy-to-use website, low everyday prices, plus free shipping and returns on deliveries made within the 48 contiguous states. Find out for yourself why Running Warehouse is the fastest-growing running store in the nation. Visit us online or stop by our retail store in San Luis Obispo on Suburban Road near Trader Joe's. Smart runners save cash at runningwarehouse.com. 
Artie's Pilates Studio in Pismo Beach is a Pilates-only studio that uses the full line of Pilates apparatus. Whether you're rehabbing an injury, want to strengthen your core, relieve back pain, or just increase your energy and overall fitness, Artie's Pilates Studio has it all, including a full staff of trainers who are nationally certified. They offer private and semi-private lessons, plus group classes on the Pilates Reformer. Artie is even certified as a Pilates golf conditioning specialist. Artie's Pilates Studio in Pismo Beach. Call 773-3863. Back with Living the Run. Here are your hosts, Ryan Ferran and Paul Tarek. Really hey, quiet down here. We're back. We're we back. Paul and Sam just yakking away. I'm Sorry. Trying, trying to run the audio board here. I'm answering text messages. I'm doing emails. You know, and we have yakety yak over there. Jeez. <laughs> We're having so a good time. He messes up. He messes up. And uh, then, and then somebody's got to work around here. You're like, that, you're like that old abusive hut. Like, look what you made me do. <laughs> Goodness. Like, come on. I'm, I'm doing everything. I'm running a video camera, the but audio board, emails, stud. text. And you two are just yapping away. You can't be quiet when yeah, the mics trying, come back we're, on. We're trying, we're trying to keep the conversation live. Oh. Like the crickets on your side of the desk. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> Text trivia question. What was Samantha Ooh. Pruitt's time in Arizona Ironman, the Ironman in Arizona? What was the time? 805-242-1280. The closest to before 645 will win an Artie's Pilates Power Pack valued at $195. If you have a question you would like asked in our Living the Run Best of San Luis Obispo County Health and Wellness Poll, email radio at livingtherun.com. Somebody texted in a guess for Samantha's time. Are we going to go? Are you, are you limiting it? Is someone who loves me? Uh, I think they love you. They give you a pretty good time. Are, yeah. are you going to limit it to like seconds or tenths of a second? I mean, or, or Closest no, we'll to. just go minutes. Mi- wait, minutes? Closest to? Hours and minutes. Come on, you gotta add a second in there because you know you never know. Maybe if we we need to go to a tiebreaker and you put a second in there and that makes you closer, then you win. Okay, seconds. Put no whatever you want. No, you you oh, can put wow. three days if you want, but you may lose. <laughs> you want to put seconds in there? You want to put a decimal? You want to put tenths of a second? Throw it in there. Wow. Closest to. Maybe I'm still at the race, to actually doing it right now. Maybe you are on satellite phone. live remote. Uh, they want to know their question. They want on the health and wellness poll is where's the best place to make out <laughs> in San Luis Obispo. <laughs> Excuse me, cross training. It's le- it's totally legit. Yeah, cross training. That's where you make out. <laughs> no, the question. Health and fitness. Oh yeah, it's a physical activity. Right. Well, you burn some You're, calories. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, I don't think what that'll kind of make the poll. Have? But we uh, appreciate probably one of Paul's friends. Guarantee <laughs> it's one of Paul's friends. <laughs> you know, uh, it's the it's the group you it's the company you keep. All right, enough <laughs> about that. But if you have a question, what was Samantha's time? Eight oh five two four two twelve eighty. Let us know. It's still or, open. 6.45, we close it down. Or wh- or where is the best place to make out? <laughs> well, if you, hey, if you let's not go there tonight. Where is make out point? Let us know. Let's not go there That tonight. is it, though. Just make out point. That is it. Cal Poly Hoops coming up after the show, by the way. Sac State in town taking on Cal Poly. Tom Barquette, Mike Wozniak with the call. We'll get you out there about 6.45, Mott Jim. Paul, you know we can see you when we go watch the show on video. That You're laughing like a fourth grader. You don't need to keep it quiet. <laughs> What's so funny? So busted. Making out makes you laugh? Yeah, sure. Why not? That's it. Yep. Go, go with that. Yeah. Okay. We'll go with that. Did I say something stupid again? <laughs> <laughs> not this time? No, Usually I have a tongue again. slip and it. Move it, move it There again. could be some and you Okay. Again. So, man, the how was it? First of all, congratulations. That's Thank amazing. Ironman Arizona, 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile oh. bike, followed by a marathon. How are you feeling right now? And will you do another one? I feel great. And yes, I will do another one. Oh my Paul goodness. Is so wrong. Paul is wrong. Paul is so wrong. Yeah. Man. I love yeah, baby. Paul is wrong. Take him down. That's right. Do you enjoy it while it lasts. Time to edit the Wikipedia page. Paul Terry, often wrong on his radio show. <laughs> often, no, often. I think this is how it goes. How did you, I mean, I guess I don't even know where to begin. Let's start at the beginning. How did it's, you yeah. even go from 57 pounds overweight, couch potato as you call it, to lean, mean, fine-looking triathlon wow. machine. I'll take it. I'll how take you, it all. How do you do that? I can get. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it. Well, the way it went was uh, it was a train wreck. So, you know, you're miserable, overweight. There's lots of people that can not totally relate to feeling like crap every day and not functioning. And at a certain point, you get disgusted and you get angry and frustrated and you decide to do something different. So you wake up the next day and you do something different, whether it's changing your diet or moving your body, 
or changing your bad attitude, which I'm sure I had a hell of a bad attitude going. So all those things. And over the years, it's been now, uh, let's see, I started walking, you know, back at the gym, that kind of stuff. Yeah, how did you start? How do you go from 60 pounds overweight to, cause that, that's a question I get all the time. Ryan, I used to play, you know, sports in high school. I was in shape. Now it's been 15 years, um, 75, 100 pounds overweight. I, I don't even know where to begin. Right. Where did you begin? Moving my body. Just, it's simple walking, right? Yeah, that's absolutely. What I, that's what I recommend. We had Gene Gomez okay. on, lost 300 pounds. He started by, after dinner, taking a walk around the block. His first walk was probably literally a couple hundred yards. Next night, he went to the next stop sign. Slowly and gradually increased it, but it all started by walking. Right, and some people can't walk. They legitimately have issues, so you can swim, you can ride a bike. There's so many ways to move your body. If you dance, dance, whatever it is, but you've got to move your body. You've got to burn calories. Paul Tarek can dance. That brother, ooh, Dancing with the Stars. Oh my goodness! No, no, no stars, not has-beens. If they're dancing, if they're dancing with the has-beens, I would be in. I'd be in it. What would you recommend as far as uh, a good beginner triathlon in this area? That if people, I kind of want to do it, but I, I, you know, I For haven't sure. really done it. Where do we go? Central Coast Triathlon Club is a great place to start and get the support and the camaraderie that you need for training. But in terms of racing, uh, Santa Maria YMCA has a great first-timers triathlon. And, of course, San Luis Obispo, the city itself. Yeah, that one is fantastic. Great for first-timers. I've done that one. It's in the pool. Yep. So you are not you don't have to deal with that and the wetsuit and all that. And everything's there. The distance is small. It's a Very doable. Triathlon. Very doable. So you have to train a little bit, but not too much. Um, as Tom Barquette checks the audio at Mott Gym. <laughs> I believe that's what that was. Hello. Um, so that's, uh, that's what I recommend. The slow triathlon, the Santa Maria one, they're great. They're usually in pools. They're doable. But you do have to do some training, and you get the feel what it's like going through a transition, what it's like yeah. to go from a swim on your bike and then from the, the bike to the run. Yeah, How- there's sprints or mini sprints. You know, you can show up and, and get through that day. I mean, you should train for it, but there's plenty of people that – general levels of fitness can get through the, an event of that size. How long did it take for you to train for an Ironman? Well, I have been doing triathlons for several years now and working my way up to Sprint Olympic 70.3 distance races. So specifically for the Ironman, very focused for six months, but I would say a solid year of building some huge volume on the swimming, biking, and running. I mean, huge for you know me and any person that has a life, of course. You know, we're not professional triathletes who train 40, 50 hours a week and get paid to do this. So we got to fit it into life. And so about, I'd say a, about a solid year of pretty focused training. Best and worst part of doing your Ironman? The race itself, day of? Is best or worst? No, I mean, is that the question or the training component? The whole, the whole journey. Oh, the whole journey. Uh, God, you know, I have to say I absolutely loved it. There's very little negative feedback I can give you. Wow. Day of, I had the worst period of my life. I got to lay it out there to the, wow. to the world. And so that was brutal. But you know what? I felt really good passing all those boys, and I so wanted to say, no whining, dude. You're not menstruating. You know, like I really wanted to go there, but I bit my tongue. Wow. So that was the worst part of the race itself. But um, really, I can't, I can't say hardly anything negative at all. It was, it was awesome. Was there ever a point? During the Ironman when you're like, I do not know if I can do this. <laughs> For sure. The last, uh, it's a loop course. So it's one loop on the swim, but then three loops on the bike and three loops on the run. And that last and final loop on the run was, was brutal. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, I was wondering what in the hell I thought. And really, you're, you're out of it at that point. You know, I hadn't eaten and was barely hydrated. So there's like the death march is happening. Everybody's walking. People are puking. It, it, there's a lot of roadkill going on. So you really start to wonder... What, you've, what is going on, you know, but you just have to stay focused and stay committed to your ultimate goal. Time-wise, I, you, know, you, you know you had a goal going in. How close to your goal did you get or did you beat your goal? I actually came very close to my goal, and I didn't tell anybody what my goal was except people who were there that day, like my husband and son, so they knew when to expect me and that kind of stuff. But I didn't want to have any pressure related to that because it can get really overwhelming and people drive themselves crazy. 
and I have plenty of athlete friends that do that on a regular basis. So I didn't want to go there, but um, I pretty much told everybody as long as I cross the line under 17 hours, which is what you're entitled, that's what you get to finish the race. But I'd set a personal goal for myself between 14 and 15 hours. So okay, 14 on go a good any, day. Don't don't go any f closer than that. 15 on a bad test. day. There we go. We got a little, a little bit of a hint there. So I had a general goal set for myself. Yes. Okay. I like to tell people when they're doing a first distance for their first time, half marathon, 5K, 10K, whatever it is, don't worry about a time goal. For sure. Do not worry. Just your goal is finishing. Exactly. You've never done a 10K before, just finish. That's your goal. Next time you do a 10K, then your goal is to beat your first 10K time. And that it does take the pressure off because if you're worried about your time in a race and you see some 50-year-old lady pass and you're like, why is that? Well, she's been running for 20 years and you just got yeah. off the couch. So time goals when you're doing an event for the first time, I tell people, don't do it. Your goal is to complete it. What, did, what was the worst thing you saw as far as people <laughs> vomiting, pulling over? Yes, what, indeed. What's, uh, what are some of those awesome images you got to take By home with you? By far <laughs> the worst was the port johns oh, on the run course. Oh, wow. I would never have quite seen anything like that. Oh, wow. So that, wow. was, that was spectacular. But um, thank you lots of suffering. That, thank you for painting she didn't, that. You didn't get too descriptive. <laughs> I, know, I know what I'm saying. Thank you for, for keeping that, that, that picture. Tasteful? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nice and, you know. Kind of like Monet, you know, it's all like... All right, our text trivia tonight is, what is Samantha Pruitt's finishing time in Ironman, Arizona? 805-242-1280. When we come back, we will talk about how did she stay hydrated? What was she eating during this Ironman triathlon? Out there for hours and hours. How do you fuel yourself? That and more. When we return with the Iron Woman, Samantha, the lean and mean triathlon machine I'm, I'm loving this i'll be back to this show you deserve it thanks back after this you're listening to living the ride on espn radio 1280 the ticket Two out of five people say that they would try harder to be greener if environmentally friendly products and services were easier to find. Where can you find an organic cafe or Whole Foods market? What about a great foot massage or acupuncture treatment? How about eco-friendly gift ideas for any occasion? If you are looking for valuable tips and guidance to live a healthier and more earth-conscious Central Coast lifestyle, pick up your seasonal copy of the Solstice Green Directory at over 500 locations or visit slowsolstice.com. Running Warehouse is the fastest growing running store in the nation for all major brands of running products, including Asics, Brooks, Nike, Saucony, Mizuno, New Balance, and Adidas. Running Warehouse is focused on providing runners the best shopping experience available online, on the phone, or in our store. Running Warehouse offers top-notch customer service, an outstanding selection, an easy-to-use website, low everyday prices, plus free shipping and returns on deliveries made within the 48 contiguous states. Find out for yourself why Running Warehouse is the fastest growing running store in the nation. Visit us online or stop by our retail store in San Luis Obispo on Suburban Road near Trader Joe's. Smart runners save cash at runningwarehouse.com. And welcome back to Living the Run Health and Fitness Radio on ESPN 1280. The ticket is Ryan Ferran. In studio with the Olympian, Paul Tarek, as always, Samantha Pruitt, our guest, the Iron Woman triathlete. What is her finishing time in Ironman, Arizona? Text 805-242-1280. Those texts are due in by 645, right before we get you out to Cal Poly basketball. Artie's Pilates Power Pack on the line. What was her time? 242-1280. Can I text in? You cannot text in. Damn. You are not eligible. Okay. Friends and family of the... <laughs> Anybody else, though? Yeah. Our family. Okay. If your hubby wants to text in and give you the Artie's Pilates pack, Power Pack, more power to him. Okay. You're going through this amazing test, willpower, excruciatingly painful triathlon. What are you eating and drinking? How are you powering through it? A little challenging for me because I have celiac, so I have a gluten intolerance, and I don't do well on multidextrin and a lot of other things that are in the sports drinks and bars out there. So I actually did not eat or drink off of the aid stations. 
the you entire day. Are kidding me? So yeah. how do you get food and nutrition? I had to carry it all on me or have it in my drop bags and my special need bags. And that did become a problem by the time I made it to the run. I started to obviously uh, run pretty low. And I didn't want to eat anything more at that point anyway. So it was, it was getting tricky. Okay. I did finally start taking um, chicken broth from the aid stations on that last loop. But chicken broth, what else specifically? Soda, Gatorade? No, none of that stuff. So what do you do? I mean, what do you? I mean, um, this is even more amazing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I I drink stuff that doesn't have all this extra crap in it. Basically, I mean, it's great and it works well for some people. They can handle that, but my stomach can't handle it. So, like Iron Man Perform is the drink on the course. Mm -hmm. You know, I never touched it. Just people like drink it all you're day just long. You're like sugar, salt, and water, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much. And gluten-free bars and gluten-free pretzels. You know, I brought my own stuff, but yeah, it became a, a little bit more of a challenge sure. for sure. Well, going backwards, even not not race day, but leading into race Training. day, because that's that's the most important part is that is going to be that week leading up to race day getting the body ready what what were you eating or how did you change your diet or did you change your diet uh, to get ready for the race super clean you know as clean as I could keep it and meaning lean proteins fruits and vegetables and I do carbs you know I do rice and I can do corn products I just can't do all the traditional breads and stuff that you can't people, do the easy carbo loading yeah the cheap crap okay what's next I hear there's a big race coming up there's a huge race coming up and I, ex-couch potato Samantha Pruitt, am putting a call to action out to our community. San Luis Obispo Marathon, half marathon in 5K, April 22nd in our own backyard. The first marathon here in forever. I am the race director, so I just want to put it out to the world. I'd expect everybody to be there. Whoops, what was that? I don't know. I think we're going to Cal we're Poly Hoops. the ball Hoops. game. All right. We're going to Cal Poly Hoops. We'll get you out there right now. Slowmarathon.com. Slowmarathon.com. You can read her blog right now, livingtherun.com. We'll get you out the hoops right now. Nelligan Sports is proud to bring you every Mustang game right here on the ticket, ESPN Radio 1280. Now let's go out and join the voice of the Mustangs, Tom Barkat, for today's pregame show. More basketball. 